The Tesla Model 2 is officially launching next month, and what's surprising is that its battery pack details have already surfaced. Tesla hasn't shared anything about the vehicle's design or features yet, which makes sense, they'll likely keep everything under wraps until the big reveal. But if you're mainly curious about the driving range, there's good news, it's still expected to reach around 300 miles. That's impressive, but what really stands out is the battery pack itself, it's small and costs just around $2,500 to produce. That's a major factor in why Tesla is able to launch this model earlier than many expected. They've successfully created an ultra-affordable battery for the Model 2. Essentially, this car is a no-frills version of the Model Y and will be produced on the same assembly line. It's all part of Tesla's strategy to offer a vehicle priced below $30,000. Elon Musk has confirmed this will be Tesla's most mass-produced car yet, with an even faster production speed than the Model Y. So how did the Model 2 battery pack leak? And is this shaping up to be the best budget EV on the market? Let's dig into the details. Ever since Elon Musk mentioned a more affordable Tesla two years ago, fans and analysts have been speculating about its specs and design. Everyone's been excited about a compact Tesla designed for city driving at an attractive price point. By now, so many different rumors have circulated that we could easily imagine 10 different versions of the Model 2. Some believe it'll be a hatchback, something Tesla hasn't offered yet. Early images seem to support this idea, showing a car with shorter front and rear overhangs. On the other hand, some fans are betting on a downsized Model Y. That would make a lot of sense given how popular crossovers are, especially in the US. And yes, there are even people who think it might look like a mini Cybertruck, which is fun to imagine, though definitely unexpected. But recent reports and Tesla's own comments have started to reveal more concrete information. Tesla's VP of Engineering, Lars Moravi, confirmed that the Model 2 will launch this June and will be built on Tesla's internal production lines. He also mentioned it will have a familiar look, staying in line with the current Tesla lineup, and, most importantly, it will be affordable and actually available to buy. So the mystery is mostly gone, the Model 2 is a scaled-down Model Y, and this lines up with reports about its battery pack. Here's what we know so far. It'll come with smaller wheels, which alone can save around $500 per car. The side windows will be single-pane, and it'll feature a single-color ambient lighting system instead of the 256-color option in the Model 3 and Y. The seats will be basic fabric without heating or ventilation, something Tesla has already done with more budget-friendly Model 3s in markets like Mexico. Those seat changes alone cut around $500 from the cost. Expect a simplified sound system as well, with fewer speakers, probably 7 to 9, compared to the 15 in higher-end versions of the Model Y. The trunk will be manual, not powered. The hood won't have any fancy designs or materials, it's just metal. As for the slick LED light bar on newer Teslas, it's still unclear if the Model 2 will have it. Since the rear-wheel drive Cybertruck doesn't, it's probably unlikely here too. Now, let's talk about the most important feature, the battery. No, it's not going to be a 65 or 75 kilowatt hour pack. According to multiple sources, including Tesla Newswire, the Model 2 will come with a 50 to 55 kilowatt hour battery. Tesla is reportedly using LFP batteries, lithium iron phosphate, which are much cheaper than other types. The entire pack costs Tesla just $2,500 to produce, or roughly 10% of the car's overall cost. Battery prices have plummeted recently thanks to falling costs for raw materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. For example, cobalt dropped from $70,000 per ton in 2022 to $30,000 by 2024, and lithium carbonate fell from $70,000 to below $15,000. In early 2023, LFP batteries cost about $110 to $124 per kilowatt hour, but by 2025, that number is down to just $50 per kilowatt hour. Tesla will source these batteries from CATL, and they'll be produced at Giga Shanghai. As for the expected range, the 50 kilowatt hour battery should deliver around 250 miles on its own. 
However, thanks to the Model 2's lightweight and streamlined design, Tesla is targeting a 300-mile range, more than enough for daily use. Musk has said before that 300 miles is a sweet spot for most drivers, and few people need more than that without stopping. It's also confirmed that the Model 2 will only have a single motor. Tesla has been working on a $1,000 motor for affordable cars, possibly one using ferrite magnets instead of rare earth metals, which are more expensive. That same project could now be ready, and it's a perfect fit for this vehicle. The Model 2's motor will likely have lower power than what you find in a Model Y or 3. While the exact price of the current Model Y motor isn't public, estimates put it around $2,000. If Tesla can really cut that down to $1,000, it'll significantly reduce costs. If Tesla delivers this low-cost car soon, it could help them rebound from a rough first quarter, where revenue dropped 70%. Some even say the Model 2 might be the key to Tesla's turnaround. That said, despite early speculation that the Model 2 would be built in Texas, it's actually going to launch first in China and Europe. Giga Shanghai already builds Model YS quickly, and Moravi confirmed that one can be made in just 33 seconds. The Model 2, with fewer parts, could take only 20 seconds per unit. Most LFP batteries are also produced in China, and with current tariffs and supply chain advantages, it makes more sense to launch from Shanghai rather than Texas, which is busy handling Cybertruck production. Launching in China and Europe is also smart from a market perspective. These regions are seeing big growth in demand for affordable EVs, an area where Tesla has lagged behind local competitors. And Chinese consumers prefer compact, flexible, and economical vehicles, making the Model 2 an ideal fit. However, not everyone will be thrilled. The Model 2's design won't be as premium as a Model 3 or Y. The quirky will design may stand out, but some might find it lacking in that familiar Tesla luxury feel. Performance-wise, this will be the slowest Tesla ever, with a 0 to 60 mph time around 7 seconds, comparable to a Toyota Camry, and a top speed of just 112 mph, likely due to cheaper, lower-rated tires. The range of about 280 miles is fine, but not enough to tempt buyers looking at longer-range Teslas. And the minimalist interior may feel cheap, with weaker noise insulation. Still, if you want a Tesla under $30,000, you'll need to accept a few compromises. At least the company is sticking to this goal, despite Elon Musk's earlier comments that any car without autonomy would go against Tesla's mission. Now, let's switch gears and talk about Neuralink. The brain interface company founded by Elon Musk continues to break new ground. Its third patient, Brad Smith, who couldn't speak or move, is now able to communicate entirely through thoughts. Before the implant, Brad relied on an eye-tracking system that barely worked under bright lights. It was slow and fragile. Now, using Neuralink's telepathy chip, Brad controls a computer cursor using only brain signals from the motor cortex, the part that handles movement. In a demo shared on social media, Brad typed the sentence, I am typing this with my brain, and even edited the video entirely using thought commands. It's incredible. Neuralink is also developing AI tools to recreate Brad's voice from old recordings, allowing him to speak again using his own voice. He's using a custom chat app powered by the Grok language model to chat more naturally, and he's even creating new software tools through this tech-enhanced interface. The surgery was performed using a specialized Neuralink robot that can implant ultra-thin electrodes, thinner than a human hair, with precision. Musk believes this robot will outperform human surgeons in time and pave the way for new medical treatments. Following these breakthroughs, Neuralink is expanding trials in the US, Canada, and the UK, looking for volunteers with spinal injuries or neurological conditions. The company is also aiming to raise $500 million to fund its next phase, which would bring its valuation to $8.5 billion. Brad's story is proof of Neuralink's potential and offers hope for those previously trapped in silent, immobile bodies. Thought-powered communication and creation are no longer sci-fi, they're here. In other Tesla news, the long-range rear-wheel drive Model Y has finally launched in the US.
This version had already been available in Europe and Asia but was missing from North America until now. It starts at $44,990, or $37,490 after the federal EV tax credit, and includes premium features from the all-wheel drive version. While it doesn't accelerate as quickly and only has two-wheel drive, you do get better range and faster charging. It's a great value, $4,000 cheaper than the AWD model, yet still packed with features. However, it's not yet available in Mexico or Canada, likely due to tariff issues. Tesla will probably export it once those are resolved. Now, the only Model Y version left to be refreshed is the performance model, which could arrive later this year. To wrap up, a $30,000 EV like the Model 2 is a brilliant way for Tesla to use its engineering strengths. They've already mastered high-end vehicles, now they're proving they can do affordable ones too. The Model 2 opens the door for new customers who love the Tesla brand but can't afford the Model 3 or Y. It could even affect Model 3 sales, but as long as the revenue stays within Tesla, that's a win. By building the Model 2 alongside existing models and using advanced tech like Gigapress casting, Tesla can scale production while cutting costs. Let's hope the same innovation powers Neuralink's continued progress. What are your thoughts on the Model 2, Neuralink, or the new Model Y? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.